So joining me now to talk about all of this is Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland. He's a retired U.S. Border Patrol agent and also Sheriff of Terrell County, Texas. Sheriff, thanks so much for being with us. Um, I, let's do, jump right in. I want to get your response to what you just heard there. It sounds like some Border Patrol agents, this one here in particular, feel like they don't even have a net if the agency is not going to be backing them and says that the government is actually looking after the migrants in some cases more than the Border Patrol agents and more than American citizens. Do you agree? Howdy, Anna, and thank you for having me. And as I like to say, you know, thank you to News Nation for continuing to uh, to cover the border. And and Allie Bradley, nobody covers the border like she does. But but yes, everything this agent said. You know, I watched um, the, uh, the the live broadcast the other night, and and I watched many runs today. And uh, and, and again, everything he says is accurate. And uh, and it's unfortunate that Border Patrol agents in in historically, you know, a lot of times agents feel like that they're going to be left to hang and dry if. Uh, you know, if they break policy or they reach out and, and speak to the media or things like that. Look, historically, we've been able to, to speak to the media, and, and those always have to be approved, but there's still been a, a significant amount of transparency between the Border Patrol and the media and the, the previous administration. This current administration not only has limited their ability to speak, but has also just limited their ability to get out and patrol the border, and, uh, and there's many things that they could be doing to allow Border Patrol agents to get out and patrol the border. Mm hmm. OK, we're looking here at the Southwest Border Patrol agents first encounters. So if you look at the numbers over time, let's come to your screen. Take a look at this 2015, one agent for every 19 encounters. Then in 2019, one agent for every 50 encounters. Then in 2022, which is two years ago, one agent for every 132 encounters. So let's just extrapolate that potentially. Has it gotten worse? What would what would you guess that number would be in 2024? You know, it most certainly has gotten worse. And, and let me just give you a comparison to my county here in, in Terrell County. Uh, look, we're the busiest Border Patrol station and the bu busiest county in Texas between Del Rio, Texas to El Paso, Texas. That's about a 600 mile swath of the border. In this administration or under this administration, we've jumped up. The first year, it was 289% increase in apprehensions. Godaways were very similar. 2022, it was a 418% increase in apprehensions. And again, gotaways were very similar. Last year, we had a drop, but it was still 188% higher. Um, we're looking to have, again, that about that number here in Terrell County. We have seen a reduction, but again, that's that's what, you know, the, the kind of the uncertainty in, in what Border Patrol is doing, uh, Title 42 going away, Title 8 prosecutions coming back. Um, I, I anticipate that our current lull is going to increase because we're getting ready to have that presidential election. And people are afraid that President Trump's going to come in, and when he does, he will shut the border down. Therefore, they want to leave their country of origin and make their entry illegally in the United States through the U.S.-Mexico border. You know, if only these were, were just people who were looking for jobs. You know, if they were just people who were looking for jobs that are unfortunately... It's it, it, we've got crime that's coming across the border. Americans are worried about their security. It's putting a, a big strain on our education system. I mean, the, the list of problems just goes on and on and on. This Border Patrol agent, I'm so glad we're going to do an encore presentation of this Dan Abrams special because this Border Patrol agent says, if you think that the Border Patrol is controlling what's going on at the border, you're wrong. Listen. What do you believe is one of the things that everyday, ordinary Americans don't understand about the southern border? The biggest thing is that we do not control the border. The cartel controls the border. Everything that we do is a reaction to things that they have planned. Usually we're chasing around pawns while the kings and queens are doing whatever they want. Do you agree? Is that is that what's going on? I mean, it, it looks like it from a bird's eye view over here. Couldn't be more truthful. Look, I, I come on and, and speak on, on on the topic. Rodney Scott, former Border Patrol chief, comes and speaks on the topic. Um, Mark Morgan has come on and spoke on the topic. The Border Patrol unions, we all say the same thing. Yes, the Mexican cartels currently control the border. Look, in President Trump's last year, 2020, we had the most safest and secure border we'd ever had. And it wasn't just he had done it. Those prior four administrations, since I'd been hired in the U.S. Border Patrol, we had increased manpower, technology, and infrastructure. Then when we started seeing an uptick under President Trump, he put in place several policies, such as the Migrant Protection Protocol and then the ENV 
which are EVN electronic verification network that came in and made that border more safe and secure. But on day one, the Biden administration came in, completely did away with that. And look, this month, the U.S. Border Patrol is going to be 100 years old. This administration has completely dismantled all the good that has gone in on this border over the last 100 years. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.